The demography war is a global scourge at this point of time. In fact, uh, most of Europe has been coping with it, has been grappling with it. In the UK, it is known by a different, uh, Love Jihad is known by a different name. They, name. they call it the grooming gangs. And fortunately, Rishi Sunak has been candid about it. He has been talking about it. Unfortunately, in our country, politicians like Mamta Banerjee can do anything for their vote bank. And uh, her decision to ban the movie, which was eventually undone um, by the Honorable Supreme Court, yeah. should make her introspect about who, who exactly is she trying to cater to. You know, because to my understanding, the only, only organization or the only people that uh, the movie is against is the ISIS. Way back in 2009, the Kerala High Court had passed a ruling where it had categorically mentioned that there were 3,000 to 4,000 women at that point of time, which is 14 years ago. It had mentioned that there are 3,000 to 4,000 women who seem to have been unnaturally converted and asked the government to frame laws to curb the practice of love jihad. So this term had its, has its place or has you know found its way in the ruling of the Karnataka, uh, the Kerala High Court. Two former CMs, um, Omen Chandi and uh, V. Achutanandan have spoken against it. V. Achutanandan in 2010 had even mentioned that in 2000, by 2030, if the PFI is not controlled, it will convert Kerala into a Muslim majority state. And obviously when he meant that, you know, he was implying that love jihad would be extensively used to, to fulfill the nefarious designs of uh, the PFI. Mm -hmm.